These tricks taste mega fruity! Ooh, silly rabbit! With bright colors and fun catchphrases, Dr. Monique Potvin Kent says it's easy to see the appeal. The characters like Tony the Tiger and Snap, Crackle, Pop, and Pop, that really has a big impact on kids. Pot Van Kent's latest research found this marketing is detrimental to children's health. Kids actually said that they preferred the products that were advertised with those characters, that they would ask their parents to get them to purchase those products. The data shows cartoon spokes characters have more influence than licensed characters from TV shows and movies. Doctors are concerned too. Oh, yeah! We know that the chronic diseases due to poor nutrition is the second leading cause of chronic disease and death in Canada. So nutrition matters a great deal. The study says over a one-year period, young Canadians were exposed to roughly 54 million food and beverage ads on websites targeted to children. It's estimated kids 2 to 11 years of age in Toronto were exposed to more than 2,200 food ads in 2019 on television alone. And essentially, we've let the food and beverage industry create this environment for our children. The push to regulate ads targeted at kids has been working its way through Parliament in the form of a private member's bill, which is currently in its third reading. In Canada, we have the chance to have a remarkable consensus across party lines regarding our approach to health. Health Canada says it recognizes that children are vulnerable and that it is working on new restrictions on advertising certain foods to kids and teenagers. The consultation process is open to anyone until June 19th, and you can submit your feedback on their website. Catherine Ward, Global News, Toronto.